Now, what if you want to try a SQL Server database? Or in this case, I'm going to show you how to use any ODBC data source. So you would coordinate with your IT team and they would set up what we call an ODBC driver. So in this case, I'm going to pick in the data menu. I'll pick in the word get data. And then I'll pick on from other sources. And then we have ODBC. Most databases are either ODBC compliant or OLEDB compliant. So I'll pick on ODBC. And then this is a this is the ODBC driver that your IT team would have set up. So I'll pick on SQL and I'll pick on OK. And now we're going to see the different databases for that SQL Server. So in this case, I'll go to the sample data database. And I'm going to spend DBO, which is database object. And then you will see the tables and the um, the views for that database. So in this case, I'll pick on uh, employee sales. And I'll pick on uh, load. And that's going to pull that right in. Now, another thing that you can do is you can refresh that data. So you can do this individually. If I right click on that table over here, right click, and then pick on the word refresh, then if the data had changed in the meantime, then you can refresh that data. You can do that with each individual one. You can right click on any one of those and pick on the word refresh. So that's more of a manual refresh. Let me show you more of an automatic refresh. In this case, I'll click on the, uh, the data menu. I'm going to come over here and pick on the word refresh all. And then I'll pick on the word connection properties. All right, so I picked on data, refresh all, and then connection properties. Then you get this window. So then I can say refresh every so many minutes and you can change the number of minutes or refresh the data when opening up the file. So that's more of an automatic refresh. And you could do that with each of the different tables as well. So any of the data sources can be refreshed like that, either manually or you go into this window and you can pick refresh data every so many minutes or refresh data when opening up the file. And it'll be more of an automatic refresh.